Welcome back to Nerd Cheek, my friends. I'm so glad you're here. Today, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to set a password for a meeting. Um, I've already done tutorials on how to lock a meeting, secure a meeting, mute participants on entry, and control whether they can unmute themselves, as well as I've done um, on who can share their desktop, settings for recordings for security. I've done all those tutorials there in this playlist uh, where this is so you can go back and watch those another time be sure to subscribe to my channel to find all kinds of other resources i probably have around 20 tutorials right now just for zoom and if you've got any questions for new ones just put it in the comments and i will literally do a tutorial for you and share it back to your comments so you have it um, i'm just helping people as much as i can so here's the thing today i want to show you how to lock down a meeting with a password so only the people that have the password can be involved. The first thing is you have to log in to zoom.us and go into your profile and your settings. So you're in here, you've logged in, and you should see your profile page in the beginning. Well, we're going to actually go down to meetings. And so in the meeting, you're going to be able to set the meeting. So schedule a new meeting. When you schedule the new meeting, you can make the meeting topic, my class meeting. So if you're a teacher, you can say that. Or you can say if you're a business leader, business meeting, and then put what it is. You know, put a little description in there. It's all going to go out into the invite and everything. This is very important. If it is a recurring meeting, click recurring meeting. Set the date, set the time and duration. So, I, you know, if you're on a free account, your duration will have to be um, 40 minutes or less. So you might as well say 30 to 45 minutes, something like that. If you're on a paid account, you can go much longer. Uh, again, say it's recurring meeting if it is. You can generate the meeting ID automatically, which I highly recommend for these kinds of meetings so people don't have it and hop in. But again, we're setting a password. So, uh, so anyways, the other settings are in here. Let them have both audio. You control the video. You can mute participants on entry. I do not enable waiting room, and I do not enable join before host, only because people can make a mess of it. Now, waiting room, they can't, but they can for host. Let's go back up here and then require meeting password. And then you can put whatever password you want in here. You set the password. Whatever that password is, you save it, you keep it, and then you send it to everyone who you want to be in it. So when you save this, you can actually save it and set the meeting, and then it's going to go in your calendar, and then you can invite people from whatever calendar you use to participate in it, or you can send it to them. That's great but on a separate message, not in the calendar note, not anywhere else it could be hacked, most likely in a text message, it'd be the best thing, send them the meeting password, and then they'll be able to log in. And when you do the meeting, it's going to come up and ask for the password, then you simply enter that password on meeting start. So let me go ahead and plan one. I'm going to do it, and I'll go ahead and test it. Let's see. Let's make it today at um, 1 p.m. Sounds good. Um, recurring meeting required, whatever. Uh, set the meeting password, it's set, and now I'm going to go in here and press save. It's saving that meeting. Now, I see I can add it to my calendar. I can send it to folks. This is really easy. So it's there. There's my meeting ID. Now here's the thing. Even if someone has the meeting ID, they cannot get in there without the password, and I've got the password. I can send this invitation out to people or whatever. This is the join URL. Very simple. And then I've got all my settings here. You can see this. Now, I can start this meeting. I'm going to start this meeting, and it's going to pop up in my stuff right now. So I'm going to start the meeting, and it's going to come and kick out my Zoom. Open zoom.us. Now it's going to open my meeting, right? Now when I open the meeting up, if I were attendee, it would say to enter the password, and then I would type that password in, and that's it. Guys, it's that simple. I'm going to show you what it looks like for someone who's joining who is not the owner of the meeting. So let me log out of my account so you can see this. Sign out. All right, I'm out of my account. I'm not going to do this. I'm going to do join a meeting, and I'm just going to go in this way. All right, join a meeting, and now... I've got to put that meeting ID in, right? So let me go back and get that meeting ID. I just want to show you how it works. So for this one, it's that's our meeting ID. So let me put it in here. They won't have to do this because you sent it to them 
in a calendar invite, usually they can click it and it goes straight in, but I'm showing you what the password looks like. Six. And then join. Now, look at that. Please enter meeting password. That's not it. That's what I copied to my desktop. So I'm going to enter my password and it's going to say, boom, waiting for the host to start this meeting at one o'clock. Do you see what's going on? And it takes that password to get in. This is really securing your meetings and make it much safer for your anyone that's involved. So anyway, that's it. That's how it works. And guys, I encourage you, set passwords for meetings for your meetings to keep them safe and secure. And if you don't do that, if you're letting a lot of folks enter or whatever, do the mute all tutorial that I gave you. Do the um, don't share your background or anyone else's background or desktop tutorial or do the tutorial on lock meeting. Those are three other tutorials that I've done on my Nerdsheet channel. Go back and watch those and use those if you don't use the password. Then again, subscribe to my channel. Hit the comments if you've got any comments. Give me a thumbs up if this was good. And then also, um, let me know if you've got any tutorials you need and I'll make them for you. All right, you guys have a blessed day.